Greetings, Professor Hobo here, and I'm not coming at you today with a product review. Although I had planned to, I'm still fleshing out the details with the company that I'm working with on this very, very, very big power station. I'm trying to get the best deal for you guys before I finish the video. So I decided today, let's do something a little different. I'll do a product update. There are some updates I want to give you guys about some of the recent products that I reviewed. One of them being the Alp generator. When I did the review of this generator, I did the actual sound pressure test at only one meter away. It's supposed to be done at seven meters. I had dozens of comments of people saying that this generator is just way too loud, that 70 something decibels that I measured was like louder than a jet plane taking off. I mean, there were a lot of people saying they were not gonna touch this generator with a 10 foot pole because it's just so loud. Now we're gonna redo this test today. And this time I am using this range finder to make sure that I am seven meters away from the Alp generator when I do this test. So we're gonna do this again. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give you an update on some other products. So stay tuned till the end. So the first test I'm gonna do is the Alp generator from seven meters away or 23 feet at idle, no load. And that's usually the noise level that a lot of the generators are rated at. So let's see how many decibels it is from this distance with no load in eco mode. And there's another thing I need to share with you guys. I do audio processing on all my videos. I take the low sounds and bring them up and take the loud sounds and bring them down so that you have an even audio experience for all of my videos. So I'm gonna show you a before and after. So I'm standing seven meters away from the Alp generator running at idle, eco mode with no load. It probably sounds pretty big because I'm using my special effect to bring quiet sounds louder. Now I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that special effect for this part of the video and you're gonna see the difference in how loud it actually is. So let me point my microphone here towards the generator. So here is how loud it is with the effect on. Now here's what it really sounds like with the effect off. You can see there's a pretty big difference between loudness levels. So you can't always go by what comes through your speakers for the loudness level. That's why I use a digital meter to tell you actually how many decibels it is, because that's really the only way to rate something like this. You can't go by what you hear in a video. So let's go ahead and put this down. I'll be quiet and we'll see exactly what it says. You can see there we're right in the 56 to 57 decibel range, so it's way quieter than you think it is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply 25% load using the solar degenerator, and we'll see how much louder it gets. Okay, we're now running a 25% load. Right around 61, 62 decibels, under 25% load in eco mode. So there you have it, the Alp generator is actually significantly quieter than you think it is because the first time I did the test, I did this from one meter away instead of seven. So it's not that much louder than most other generators. In fact, it's on the quieter side. It is a smaller generator, so they do have to work harder to push out wattage. So usually they're a little bit louder. And yeah, I heard a million times buy a Honda. A lot of people don't want to spend a thousand bucks on a generator. And the Honda doesn't run on propane without installing a kit. So you have to be pretty handy to install a propane conversion kit in a Honda or a Yamaha. This is pure propane. No gasoline, no gas tank. You don't have to worry about spilling anything. It's a great little generator. And these are still available right now with my discount code where you can get that free steel braided hose. So the link to the original review for the Alp generator is below and I'm gonna include a link to the generator itself in case you wanna check it out. So next on the agenda, I wanna talk about the Elect Hive by Zero Breeze. You guys saw my video. It was one of the worst products I've ever reviewed on the channel. And I didn't mean to do anything bad to Zero Breeze. I was just giving my honest opinion. Well, it looks like they've really taken my video to heart. They went out and bought all the same equipment that I use, everything from my testers to the oscilloscope, everything. And they've modified the Elect Hive with a lot of safety features that the prototype didn't originally have. So they just put out a video recently on their campaign page showing some of the updates they've done. They've put a lot of safety features in. They fixed the USB problems. They fixed the 12 volt. They increased the voltage. They fixed the display. They've done a lot of updates to their product just in the 
last couple of weeks. So that's very good. I feel like I did a service to everybody by releasing that video because now you're gonna get a much better product for your money. So if you're interested in the Elect Hive, there is a link in the description below that'll take you to the campaign page where you can watch that video that they put out just yesterday showing all these improvements and updates. Now my last video was about the Montec X1000 briefcase solar generator, which is a fantastic product. I wanna let you guys know there's only six days left to the campaign and they're not going into what's called in demand, which sometimes after an Indiegogo campaign, they'll allow you to continue to buy the product even though the campaign's over. They are not doing that in this case. So in six days, the Montec X1000 will no longer be available to the general public for any price. So if you want to get the Montec X1000 from my last review video, and I'll put a link again in the description below to it in case you missed it, you only have six days left to get it at the stupid low price of $549. So you can use that link below, grab one at $549, you only got six days left and it is gone. The next time it comes back is probably going to be this summer and it's going to be like a thousand bucks. So you're going to get it for half price now or pay full price later. It seemed pretty much finished to me. There was that one little issue with the battery meter, not really showing the correct percentage. But beyond that, it was ready for production. So I think they're just gonna take that Indiegogo money and go right to production and produce all those for you guys as soon as possible. I also wanna let you guys know that some of the Bouge RV codes did expire on January 1st. I got some messages from people saying, discounts on the refrigerators and stuff like that stopped working. Well, I talked to Bouge RV, they renewed those codes. So if you're interested in the Bouge RV refrigerators that I recently reviewed, they're back on sale with that code. And again, I'll put that information in the description. I also have an update on a product I did a couple months ago, the Adu. That code also expired like several weeks ago. And I talked to them and they renewed that code. So if you're interested in the Adu portable power station, I'll put the link to the review below in the description. You can check it out. It's a really good lithium iron phosphate product for a low price. That's why I reviewed it in the first place because there's not that many lithium iron phosphate power stations out there. And that one was relatively cheap and it was actually pretty decent. And they've actually offered for me to do a review of their larger power station, which I probably will do when I come back from my trip to Quartzsite. In fact, I'm planning a lot of stuff after my trip to Quartzsite. I'm gonna have the new Elec Hive, they're gonna send it to me. I'm gonna have the production version of the Leoc. I'm gonna have the new Adu. I'm gonna have a new Jackery. Yes, there's a new Jackery coming out. I'm gonna have a new Blue Eddy. There's a new Blue Eddy coming out. I'm gonna have all of these new products coming in to me probably around the first or second week of March. And I'll probably put them in some kind of order depending on their priority with sales and campaigns and such. So stay tuned, because coming up in March, I'm gonna be swamped with a bunch of new stuff to review. A lot of really big state-of-the-art power stations, and I know you guys are really gonna enjoy that. Now speaking of the Leoc, I know they've done some updates on that model. They got a new smaller case for it. They fixed some of the issues with the inputs. They've added additional solar. Link to that campaign is down in the description below. I do believe they're going to go in in-demand, so even when the campaign's over, they, they probably will offer those. I'm not 100% certain, but the link to that is below. A lot of people like the Leox. It's a big lithium iron phosphate battery for a thousand bucks, so that's really hard to beat. And it does have some potential. I don't really like the looks of it, but a lot of people do like the fact that it looks like an Alienware gaming PC. Now I've been talking directly to the owner of Zero Breeze, who does the Elect Hive, and they have that portable air conditioner. So he told me they're gonna send me the portable air conditioner to review. I've been asking to review this thing for like six months. So it finally took my review at Elect Hive to get in touch with somebody there to send me that air conditioner. Now I'm probably not gonna get it before my trip, but again, it's one of those things that I'll probably end up getting around March, and I'll add to my list of product reviews coming up for spring and summer. And one last thing, a lot of people have been kind of upset that the Bouge RV 180 watt panels from the Bouge RV website are gonna take till February or even March to deliver. Now, the reasoning for that is pretty simple. There's still a pandemic going on. The ports in Los Angeles and San Diego, part of California, which has all these lockdowns going on right now, it's taking five to six weeks for ships to come from overseas and actually get docked at port. So there's all kinds of supplier issues. There's companies that I used to work with that are gone now. They're just completely gone. The coronavirus has 
basically killed the supply chain in a lot of Asia. So there's a lot of issues right now. There's a battery shortage, there's supply chain issues, there's delivery problems. So everybody is suffering right now from being able to get products from overseas. Now, of course, that's going to be remedied as the vaccine comes out and things return to normal. But for the near future, it's still pretty problematic. So Bouge RV is like any other company having issues with supplies. You guys have bought hundreds, if not thousands, of their solar panels over the last couple of months, and they just can't keep up with the stock. So what they're doing is they did offer them on Amazon. If you want to pay a little bit more, and I mean a little bit, it's actually quite a bit more. The good price is on the Bouge RV website, but you're not going to get the panels till February or March. If you want to get them within a couple of days, you can use the link below to the Amazon page where you can pay some more to get it right away. But I do have a 10% off Amazon code for the Bouge RV 180 watt panels. I'll put that below. I'll put that down there to kind of help ease the extra cost of Amazon because most companies don't like to sell on Amazon because Amazon takes like 25% of their profit. So they're usually a little bit more expensive there than they are at the maker's website. But if you want them right away, you're going to have to pay the piper. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. I've also been asked a little bit as to what my travel plans are for Quartzsite. Now, I decided not to publish these plans. Uh, I'm just going to go out there with my close group of friends, and we're going to have a good time. If you can find us out there in Quartzsite, that's great. I'm not planning on publishing any GPS coordinates or website pages or nothing to let you guys know where I'm at. I'm probably not going to do any live videos this year. It wasn't really a popular thing last year. I may do one or two short live videos streams if there's something interesting going on. So the PAR-TR is actually out there right now. If you guys don't know what the PAR-TR is, it's basically, they call it the party version of the RTR. It's a small group of people that put this together every year and they usually do it out in Skadden, Washington, Quartzsite. And they usually have like a dance stage and some tents and stuff. So if, you, if you're into like loud music and dancing and drinking and smoking and stuff, that's a great place to be. That's not what our camp's gonna be about. Our camp is basically hanging out doing some side-by-sides, riding bikes, uh, enjoying the serenity of Quartzsite and Lake Havasu and doing all the events that are out there this time of year. RV Golf Guy, Z Foxfire, Jack Smith.